What is up everyone? It's Kesmir and I am back with The Walking Dead. Um, episode 3 of the Michonne Pack. Um, yeah. We're back. Let's go see what Sam has to say. Hey, Sam. Hey. Thanks for before. I, uh, I couldn't have moved it myself. Man, digging with that shoulder would hurt. Need. I ran into James inside. I should really go talk to him. I, I know. I just, I know nothing I say is going to make it any better. Paige thinks we're not safe here. Now we need to move on. But she's trying to convince you to leave, too. She's wanted out of here for a while. I guess she's found her chance. You should try talking to Paige. Are you really ready to let her walk away? If you care about each other... Then she should understand why I need to stay. It's just... So much of this place is my dad. It's all of us. He worked his way up from nothing. Took a job cleaning houses. Paid his way through law school. When he bought this house, it was... It was proof that he'd made a better life for us. We grew up here. I Maybe I'm crazy, but I can't let that all be for nothing. He was so proud of what he built. This place kept us safe. We were happy here. It's still a house, Sam. Just wood and brick. The people inside, Paige and your brothers, they're who you need to protect. That's what I'm trying to do. They won't survive out there. I can't protect them. I couldn't with Greg. This is the best chance they've got. You found the bag? Yeah, here. Thanks. I should get back to work. So we got a bunch of pistols. And they got a, a, like a small army and assault rifles. This should, this should play out nicely in our favor. Not to mention, they, who knows, they might even have like a land vehicle or something. Alex must have drawn this one. I hope he's okay. Oh, okay. Just goes right back to Sam's room. I think we gotta go upstairs now. She's been all over the world. Those days are long gone now. Sam's passport. This must be her mother. Sophia Fairbanks. Almost out of space in these. Sam's mom wrote this. Took Sam to see the Eiffel Tower. I don't think she cared much for it, but we found a little shop on the way back and ate about 50 macarons each. I blame the pregnancy. Sam blames our shared sweet tooth. At least Sam has some happy memories to hold on to. Well, let's head upstairs. I wonder if we should have gave the kid a gun. I have a feeling the kid would have shot our hostage. But the kid could save our life in the future. Having a gun, people don't suspect kids with a gun. Clementine did that for Lee back in season one. I think more than once, if I remember correctly. Is that music? What's up, kiddos? Don't you hate it when the hallway stretches out? I can't reach you.
I like that. It's pretty. My dad gave it to me, so I wouldn't have to hear the things out there. As long as I stay in my fortress, I'm safe. It keeps all the bad stuff out. I put pillows and blankets against the wall. Was this your dad's idea? Yeah. My dad makes sure I'm always safe, so nothing can happen to me. Ever. Especially not those... things. I know what those monsters out there are. Wendigo. <laughs> Wendigos. Grandma told me about them. It's what happens when someone eats another person. Oh? I hadn't heard that one before. Do they scare you too? To make lots of noise. Even at night. The monsters don't scare me. I scare the monsters. Really? Yeah. My dad scares them off too. I've been waiting for him. Where is he? Why didn't he come get me yet? Where is my dad? I'm so sorry, Alex. Something terrible happened. A bad man came and hurt your dad. What? He shot him. No! I don't believe you! What is him? Please. Sometimes awful things happen. <sighs> And there's nothing we can do about it. Did my dad be become one of them? It it it's what happens, right? No, your dad didn't become one of them. He's still your dad. It's not fair. You deserve to know the truth. I didn't want to lie about what happened to your dad. Coming up on the road now. Hey, keep the chatter to a minimum. Our friends are listening. <laughs> Sorry, kiddo. <clears throat> yeah, speaking of Wendigos, that's another game I should play. Uh, oh, what was it called? Um, just looked it up until dawn. Um, you play a bunch of like a uh, bunch of kids at a ski resort or whatever. I think my cat's having a dream. I think he just whined. That's weird. Um, anyways, a bunch of kids go to like a ski resort or whatever. It's kind of a scary game. I've played through it before, but I like to try. It. Oh, gee. Wow, that scared me. Little kids are scaring the poops out of me. Height marker. James Fairbanks. Alex Fairbanks. Was there an extra name there? God, those kids creep me the heck out. But yeah, anyways, until dawn. I'll probably play that sometime here. I, like I said, I played it before, but I'd like to try to do like a playthrough where I save everyone in that game. So, so we got that on the list. Ah, those little kids just... That's been the worst thing out of this whole playthrough. Those are getting like little mini jump scares. Oh, hey, I, I didn't hear you come in. Were you able to talk some sense into her? Or do you still think digging a hole is a good use of Sam's time? I've never seen her like this. She's... she's not thinking. I'm not gonna stop her from burying her father. You act like I'm doing this to be cruel. I get why she wants to do it, but we just can't. Not with Norma on her way. I don't know why Sam thinks she can protect her brothers here. I'll be out of your hair soon enough. Never belonged here anyway. Same as you. That's one thing we got in common. Squatters in other people's lives. But that's not why you're leaving. I mean, it's part of it. Call it self-preservation, but I've gotten pretty used to knowing when it's time to cut and run. Norma's gonna be here soon. If they're not ready... 
I won't stick around just to watch this fall apart. She's so stubborn, though. I just hope it doesn't get her killed this time. Then stay. Sam needs you. You're gonna regret it if you leave, trust me. The Fairbanks kept me safe, but I don't know if I can do the same for them. I don't I don't know. Here. It's the last episode. We don't have enough game time to just keep running from Norma. I think that we're just gonna have to make a stand. Maybe I should be trying harder to convince her to stay, because the more people we have the better, I think. What other goodies do we have up here? Oh, is this the, uh, what's his name's room? Who died? Greg. Or Greg. This girl's gonna jump out at me again. I remember getting my law degree. Doesn't mean much now. John, take care of our children and take care of yourself. I'm sorry. I know that doesn't help or explain anything, but it's true. I can't stand watching you and the kids suffer, knowing what's going to happen to me and what I'll become. Better to spare you that pain. I love you more than anything. Sophie. goes again. Stinking Wendigos. Just saw an icon there. should leave him alone. He was in there. Alright, can I talk to her one more time? Nope, we're done. Alright, let's go downstairs, see what happens next. Have you seen him? I want him to be there when I say a few words for Dad. He wasn't at Mom's funeral. He should be there for this. Alex asked about his father. So, I told him what happened. Oh, shit. I, uh, I should check on him then. You'll find him in his fortress. I'll meet you outside.
Sam? You okay? Greg and Dad? I just... I don't really know what to say. Where am I supposed to start? I don't know. Just say what he meant to you. Yeah. Okay. I'll give you a moment. Hey, you okay? Michonne. Just thinking about my kids. I keep seeing them. Hang in there. We'll be back out on the water soon. You know I envy them a little. They've managed to hold on to something we all lost a long time ago. Something like normal. I don't know how to describe it. Feels like before. Just a little bit. Sound like an idiot, don't I? Whatever normal is, it doesn't exist anymore. No matter how much you want it to. I decided to stay for Sam don't get cocky it had nothing to do with what you said uh huh uh huh Miss Joan she's here <sighs> oh gosh I thought we had more time it's okay it's gonna be okay Sam just go upstairs with your brother, okay? I need you to hide until I come get you. What, what's gonna happen? He gonna hurt us? Y you'll stop them, right? Right? Just get upstairs. Stay out of sight and you'll be safe. Norma's not after you. Everything will be fine. Stay together, no matter what. We will. Okay. Alright guys, we're going to end this one here, and we'll pick up tomorrow when we deal with Norma, and everything that's going to entail. So like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Kazmir out.